Hello everyone, welcome to Mocking Sapien. My name is Tanay and today I'm going to talk about Lockdown 2.0. Media always has this thing of giving crazy as names. Like anything they'll start. Jisne pure desh mein phela di, san sunny. Like it's some kind of a new movie or something which has come out like the second part. Lockdown 1 or Lockdown 2.0. Nice. Sun sunny. I don't know why Modi likes to give these false hopes in people that, you know, like initially before the 21 day lockdown, he said that we had won Mahabharat in 18 days. We'll win the coronavirus Yudh in 21 days. But that is not going to happen. Like this is like demonetization. Like before demonetization, he said like, give me 10 days or give me some amount of days. I'll solve all the issues. Demonetization happened in 2016. Like the bad impacts of it, you can still see. Why? Why give raise hopes when it's not gonna work? Sun, sunny. Now lockdown seems to be a very necessary measure right now because the amount of coronavirus cases are going on increasing. And why is it necessary right now? Is because we are testing people only. By daily tests are 18,000. Like obviously, if you're testing less people. Many people, uh, many positive cases are going unnoticed. So if you remove the lockdown, then it is going to increase a lot. So because of the less testing, removing the lockdown is a very bad decision. So we have to continue it. See, coronavirus cases are even going to grow during the lockdown. It's not going to solve it or anything. Even in my previous video, like I spoke about lockdowns and how it's not a solution. Now before lockdown, before the 21 day lockdown, we had 500 cases around something around 500. At the end of 21 days, we have 11,500 cases. But obviously it would have grown more if there was no lockdown. But we don't, we still don't know the actual numbers because we are testing less people. We are doing around 200 tests per million people. Countries like Germany are doing 15,000 tests. 15,000. Like, as I told you in that lockdown video of mine that the lockdown is just gonna buy you some time, buy the government some time to, you know, think on what to do ahead. It is not gonna be a solution. The government has done that. They have put it in our head that lockdown is the only solution, which is not. So we'll do our part of the lockdown, but you do your part of the testing on the other things which you have to do. You can't just be dependent on the lockdown and on the citizens. It's a very stupid thing to do. Sun, sunny. Lockdowns will only be effective when we combine rapid testing with the lockdown. Otherwise, only lockdown, it's not going to do anything. It has not done anything anywhere. Testing is the only focus. Now, whatever I speak in this video, everything is going to narrow down to testing. Now, one more issue coming up is government hospitals. If uh, you uh, are testing there, then it's free. If you're testing in private labs, it costs you around 4,500. The government should be taking up these costs. If you're going to keep such costly tests, no one is going to go and test. Even if people have symptoms, who is going to give pay 4,500? You won't. In a time where people's income has gone down, the government should take up these costs. All co coronavirus tests should be free. It should be free. Why? Like, why is that bifurcation there? That's why South Korea, why do you think it's doing that well? Because all tests are free. Like Modi spoke about private labs and government labs working together. This is not how you work together. It doesn't have to have a difference right now. Right now is a time where everything should be free in terms of coronavirus because people need it. Now government spoke about loosening up some uh, sectors after the 20th of April after seeing the situation. So things like uh, agriculture, labors and then certain construction for irrigation. There are various uh, things which will be loosened up and given permission for people to go and work in. I'll leave the link in the description of what all things will be opening up after the 20th April. But they'll open up only if people behave and like they see people how they are behaving and if they're following the lockdown. Like is this a school? Like are we getting punished? Like anyone does something you punish them. This is not how it works man. It, it is not a school like like in school they tell you you sit in class stay silent if anyone opens their mouth you won't go be allowed to go to play or anything like that this is not school modi ji please don't do stop putting everything on the people please stop doing that like we as citizens we are doing our part sun sunny 
and then you speak about like if there are no cases in a particular place and if they behave then you'll you know loosen it up loosen up the isolation a little but on what basis are you going to loosen it up like when you aren't testing you you'll say that wherever there are zero coronavirus positive cases over there you'll loosen it up but how do you know when you're testing so less people like if someone is positive by chance they go out and then they it start spreading again that's why testing again testing now icmr gave a very good uh, advice in this case they said that pool testing should be conducted so in pool testing you will take blood samples or samples of a particular colony or particular society mix it up and then do the test on that sample then if anything like you find it coronavirus positive that whole society or colony will be isolated so this is like these are the immediate measures measures we should take in order to control like to balance out the economy and the spread of this virus so pool testing would be a very good uh, solution according to me because it will be cheap and more uh, at once you're doing a lot of tests so an individual testing can be carried on later today in the morning modi ji gave a speech and he said various kinds of things now he said that when people were coming back from abroad all of them were tested and isolated which is a big lie it's a big lie even in my previous video I spoke on this that india made a mistake in this only that we didn't test people who came from abroad tracing was so easy that time because the government could get all the details of people who came from abroad and test them and isolate them then before the community community transmission began it was so easy that time but it didn't happen if it would have been done that time this situation right now wouldn't have come my friends friends there they one person came back from new york on the last day last day or last flight and he didn't e- that person didn't even get a call to go and get themselves tested nothing that thing wasn't done it was a modi ji has lied completely in this case see now whatever decision modi ji are going to make is going to attract criticism but you don't have to lie please don't lie whatever is the reality keep it in front of people so that we know what is the situation and modi ji compares ourselves with us and all these people are hey bhai we know trump is stupid why are you comparing yourself with him we thought you are a better leader he is too stupid why are you comparing yourself with him and you are saying that we have less cases on what basis are you saying we have less cases when we have tested less people in his speech he didn't talk about the poor how much relief funds they are going to get nothing he just said that you help the poor and we are opening up the lockdown for the poor we don't know any details how much they have how much budget they have allocated for them and what they have planned in these 21 days what they are going to do for them later on can't put a complete lockdown then put a partial lockdown with the partial lockdown like certain sectors where daily wages can go and earn let them go and earn like if you say that you are scared of it so whenever you are putting the lockdown at least put in more funds for these people you are not doing that also like in testing also you won't for the private tests also you won't give money then even for uh, these issues like relief also you won't p- provide adequately how is it going to work how is this lockdown going to succeed now when it comes to spending for the poor and relief for the poor even abhijit banerji said that we shouldn't think on how much we are spending on them because they need the money right now to survive he just won the nobel prize for economics there is no excuse for not spending lots of money and and there's no excuse for not giving that money to the poorest people i mean that's not to say that if we want to actually have this lockdown work we need them to have money because otherwise they're going to just run out on the street you can't ask people to just starve or even to live on pds rations uh, forever i mean they have other uh, compulsions why doesn't the government get this why do you think people are coming out right now on in surat and mumbai this incident happened where people the whole labor group they came on road <laughs> thousands and thousands of people they started burning stuff they started protesting why did they start protesting because they don't have daily food to eat like basic basic food like that thing for survival that's why they are like they want to go home 
जिसने पूरे देश में फैला दी सनसनी The situation of the poor are so bad. Like there was this incident just before the lockdown, one lady gave birth to a child, and she is getting food every two days. She is saying the child can't have milk because she is not getting food, so milk doesn't come down in her breast, and the whole family is crying. Lockdown के चलते सब बंद है. महक बताती हैं कि दो दिन में बस एक बार ही खाना नसीब होता है. जमीन पर लेटी अपनी बेटी को देखकर गोपाल के आंसू नहीं रुकते आपको रोज खाना मिल पाता है नहीं भैया नहीं मिलता भूखा रहती दूध उतरता ही नहीं से क्या पिला सुबह से इतने सारे चावल गाये भैया मैंने अबू की बेटी कब खाना आएगा कब खाऊंगी <laughs> So this is the impact it's having. You need to address this now in UP. An FIR was filed on the Wires editors. No, free press to has gone for a toss. Way. You freedom of speech, reporting actual situations. You can't do it only. Just because these people were reporting the actual situation, Yogi Adityanath files an FIR on them. They don't even know for what it's filed. Nothing. It's just filed on them. Like you, to can't re- report the actual situation. Just like China, previous video I spoke on it. Now Amartya Sen, he is the Nobel Prize winner of economics. He wrote on this wire issue. He said that as a proud Indian citizen, I have to hang my head in shame at the gross misbehavior of our elected leaders, both for their attempt to curb media independence and for their efforts to violate freedom of speech in the country. It's such a shameful thing for us. Even I made a video on this one. Why criticism of the government is important. Now Kerala is succeeding so much because their healthcare facility is so good, and they are so concentrated on testing, isolating, treating, and tracing. They have tested a lot of people. Their cases are low, their deaths are low, and their recovery rate is high. So India needs to adopt the Kerala model now. High time. Thank you, everyone, for watching the video. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.